Automation is the novel name of an ancient wisdom, a wisdom dating back to many millennia where arts and genius blend together. The science that ensued from it has less than two centuries, the name, automation, a few decades. Automation deals with a complex set of activities needed to take rational decisions in a constantly evolving and partially unknown world, relying on available and relevant information. And, of course, it's all about mathematics. You start with a formal representation of the system you want to control. You may want to linearize it. You can analyze it by using its phase portrait, by computing the state trajectory or by looking at its input response. You can switch to the frequency domain by means of Laplace transform, compute the eigenvalues, obtain the transfer function and plot Nyquist and body diagram. Then you can design the control loop choosing a suitable control low amount. State feedback with pole placement, proportional integral and derivative actions on the reference circle, the Apollon function or optimal control methods, and don't forget to solve the differential with Cathy equation. Wait! Let's keep it simple. Basically, automation gives you the tools to make something accomplish a task automatically. Whatever it is the task you're dealing with, you need three fundamental ingredients. The measurement, the control and the actuation. The measure tells you how things are going. The controller is the brain that, given the measurements, decides which is the action to do. The actuator is the one who executes this action. Let's try to better understand their role with a little experiment. Luigi has a very simple task, brushing his teeth. Let's have a look on what happens when all these three ingredients are seamlessly integrated. As you can see, Luigi manages to complete his task without any problem. Bravo, Luigi! Now, let's see what happens if one of these components is absent. Without measurement. Without actuation. Without control. Ok Luigi, thank you very much for your help, you can go! And don't forget to pick up your brain on the way out! In this experiment, we have seen the role of each block, and we clearly understand that all of them are crucial to complete the desired task. But how can they interact with each other? How can they talk to each other? What are they made of? How does the controller decide what is the appropriate action to do? Well, automation answers all of these questions and many more. Whether you have to brush your teeth, make a coffee, hit a room, drive a car, control a chemical or nuclear reaction, launch a satellite, efficiently produce and distribute electrical power from renewable sources, or visit another planet, automation is exactly what you are looking for.